Hi everybody, this is Shan in the studio, and today we're going to be talking about an airplane that's beloved around the world. Today we're going to be talking about my painting of the de Havilland DHC-2, also known as the Beaver. The Beaver was created by de Havilland Aircraft of Canada. This airplane was made for 20 years starting in 1947. Less than 1,700 of these aircraft were made. The Beaver can operate from both land and sea. The U.S. Army requisitioned a thousand Beaver, which they dubbed the L-20 and later the U-6. The Army used the L-20 for spotting enemy positions, relaying radio traffic, and search and rescue. Although production stopped in 1967, these planes are still in use around the world today. When I finished this painting and I posted it to social media, I was flabbergasted at the outpouring of love for this plane. I got messages from the UK, Canada, New Zealand, Florida, Alaska, people who had either flown the planes, worked on the planes as a mechanic, or had taken them on trips. These planes are loved all around the world and I'm so happy they're still in the skies and on the seas today. So I really love to work large. The reason why I like doing that is I paint a lot with my fingers, my palms, and brushes. Um, when I was a little kid, I liked to getting messy, so mud pies, and nowadays I do all kinds of you know, food origami with uh, tamales and egg rolls and things like that. So painting by my hands is relaxing to me. So I wanted to make sure that this was a statement piece. So I painted it very large, and I got to get in there and get messy, and um, I, I enjoyed that part of it. That's why I paint large. I mean. It's a challenge for me to paint small, but painting large is where my heart is. So when I was done with this painting, I thought, well, I'm gonna send this over to the gentleman who photographed it, um, my collector, and I'm happy to say they liked it so much they wanted it in their home. So I packed it up and took it to a different place in Texas, and that evening, or no, excuse me, the next evening, we had a party where it was the revealing party and everyone got to see the plane and some of my other work and it was wonderful. I got to meet lots of wonderful uh, vehicle lovers and art lovers and I just want to thank Jay and Kay for that. Thank you for being collectors and I, I love you guys. I also want to thank Friday Harbor Seaplanes for allowing me to use some photos and a little bit of information about this wonderful plane. If you'd like to fly one of these, please uh, give Michelle a call or check out their website and I'll post the link below. I know you would enjoy flying this as much as I enjoyed painting it. So every week I answer a question that someone's asked me um, in public, in an exhibition, or online. And this week's question is, did you always want to be an artist? And the answer is no, I didn't. Actually, when I was little, I wanted to be an Egyptologist, uh, or a female version of Indiana Jones. I didn't really know that I could draw or paint until fifth grade when I was doing a science fair project on bugs and I did a drawing of a grasshopper and my teacher absolutely loved it and I thought, okay, I can draw. And I didn't pick up art until I was at the end of high school, probably 11th, 12th grade, and I fell in love with it. I actually got a scholarship to be a special needs drawing teacher, but I didn't go to college, got married, and took off 25 years from art. Um, in 2012, 2013, I took a couple of art classes and in 2015, I became a professional artist. And even when I have bad days in the studio, it's the most wonderful job in the world and I wouldn't exchange it for anything else. Thanks so much for visiting today. If you like this video and you wanna see more about my paintings and the vehicles that inspired them, please subscribe below. You can also follow me on social media on my Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter, or my website, shanfannon.com. Thank you so much for supporting the arts. Take care.